the world needs a dynamic and strong Africa. Of the very many stereotypes that we have to deal with when we're telling the story of Africa, I don't think there's any as exasperating as the ones that seek to portray Africa as a stagnant, unchangeable, predictable continent. These narratives of stagnancy or lack of progress clearly do not reflect Africa's place in the world now, and most importantly, in the near future. For example, if we choose to fixate on Africa's share of global merchandise trade, we could very easily be blinded to the very incredible changes that are happening, and they are dramatic changes. For example, if during the pandemic uh, you chose to dwell on the fact that Africa had some of the lowest vaccination rates and vaccine procurement numbers, you may miss the very useful point that through the collaboration, as we've heard today also, of Panabios and the Africa CDC, brokered by Afro champions, Africa also built and deployed the world's first vaccine passport. The Panabios platform digitally connected labs and port health facilities, as well as pathogen genomic centers in 20 countries of Africa. Now, this is the kind of dynamic knowledge about dynamical shifts in a dynamic continent that prepares the mind for the real opportunities that Africa holds for trade, investment, and global growth. Real insight about Africa's ongoing transformation, in my view, lies in learning to discern the patterns within the patterns, the shift from one lens to another the powerful undercurrents bubbling beneath the surface, the dynamism that really matters. And I must say that as the world itself confronts unprecedented turbulence in the coming years, from climate change to artificial intelligence, the time has come for Africa's unique role to be better appreciated. Then in addition, Africa needs three things, and we've heard repeatedly today. The first is collaboration. The second is collaboration. The third is collaboration. Our strength lies in our ability to work together. A fragmented Africa is a disaster for Africa and surely cannot benefit the world. Thank you very much.